Avoid using microwave oven to get faster internet. That's what Ofcom says. We're going to test it out. Hello there, welcome to Stu's Tech Time channel where we do tips for your tech, give you from product reviews and also some streaming advice. If that sounds like a channel that you would like, then please consider subscribing and I'll show you exactly how to do that. It's very, very simple to do. All we do is we go to my page here and we click subscribe and then also click that bell and click on all and that way you'll be notified of all the latest videos that I've put out like these that you can see here, like uh, free Netflix alternatives. I've got another five coming up in a future video, so uh, subscribe if you want to see them. And other ones that is really relevant, to, especially to this uh, video that we're doing now, is how to stop buffering forever, part one, part two. I might actually rename that to be basically being the best Wi-Fi tips uh, that you can get basically and it'll give you faster Wi-Fi because we're all working from home at the moment So that's what we all need right so BBC News put an article out here coronavirus avoid using microwave to get faster Internet now this is from Ofcom now, this is a media regulator of Ofcom in the UK. I'm not sure if it's international, but it's definitely in the UK um, and it's part of advice to get improved internet speeds um, right, so basically you can read that article, but uh, it comes as millions of workers remo working remotely and they rely on streaming services and they're told basically to stay at home. Now this is obviously going to affect your Wi-Fi, it's going to put a greater strain on the network. So they've given a few tips on how to get better Wi-Fi in your home. Now, a lot of these are, are in, basically explained in more detail in those two videos that I mentioned earlier about buffering tips. Uh, they're basically Wi-Fi tips. So if you want to look at those videos as well after you've seen this, then it would definitely be worth your while if you're struggling with your Wi-Fi. But this is the bit here, if I can just find it. Here we are here. It's uh, This is the bit that I'm interested in. Devices. Let's see if I can just... Devices that can interfere with router signals include cordless phones, baby monitors, halogen, halogen lamps, dimmer switches, stereos, computer speakers, TVs, and monitors. But we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be testing it out. We're gonna be testing microwave ovens, specifically, and I'm gonna test uh, how it affects your Wi-Fi. And also, if it does affect your Wi-Fi, how I've got a tip that's basically gonna eliminate the use of Wi-Fi interfering with your uh, your Wi-Fi reception is a really, really simple thing to do. So stay tuned till the end of the video uh, to find out what that is. Right, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be testing uh, microwaves. I haven't got a baby monitor. I haven't got a halogen lamp. Dimmer switch, I don't actually have either. Uh, but I've also got, I've got a stereo and computer speakers, TVs. That's a good idea. So we're going to do that as well. See, before I do that, if you're just interested in a couple of things here, um, I've got a couple of deals here going, still going strong, 86% off, uh, $1.50 $1 a month. I'm not going to go into much about it. It's, um, it's a VPN. It's still going strong. This actually ended, but it's still going strong. If you put in Stu Tech Time, click apply, you'll get it for $65, and that's for five years. Uh, it really is a great, great deal. Um, if you fancy another one, and we've got IP Vanish, which is still running again, this is run out, but it's still running, uh, we get for three twenty five a month, $39 for a year, and you also got 250 gigabytes of online storage. Right, let's get back onto the test. I'm gonna go and test it right now, so let's crack on. Right, I'm gonna now go into the kitchen because that's where my microwave is. I've set up a test here. Um, got a phone. It's connected to 2.4G Wi-Fi, as most commonly is used. Um, we're going to see, we're, first of all, we're going to do a before, and then we're going to do an after. Okay, so let's crack on. So we're getting about 50, 51, 53, um, this is good, good speed. It's good speed over 2.4 gigahertz. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, cancel that out and we'll do another one. There you go, now we're at, what's that, 62, 63. And now I'm gonna turn on the microwave. Okay, it's on. I've got something in so I don't explode it. Now let's taste it again. There we have it. It's almost proud to halt. Nine, ten. So we've got 
gone from what, 50 to 12. And the down, wow, and the upload speed is gone, basically, gone to nothing. It's incredible. Right, let's try that again. So it just goes to show the microwaves do actually interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. Right, let's uh, let's test the TV now. Right, so here we are back in my office. Uh, we've got TV running in the background. Nice cello TV, by the way. If you're interested, I'm going to be doing a review on that shortly. Um, it's about a British-made TV company, cello. Very, very affordable as well. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything off. Now obviously I know what the, the speed's going to be because nothing is going to really be interfering with it unless the phone next to it is going to interfere with it. But it doesn't look as if it's having much effect. I've got a cordless phone next to that. So the cordless phone straight away is gazumped. Unless you're actually using the phone, then it might have a different effect. But well, there you go. Upload speed tremendously affected by a cordless phone alone. Just try that again. So it just shows you, if you're using your Wi-Fi around cordless phones, but your router next to cordless phones, and my router's not even next to a cordless phone. Uh, yeah, your download's gonna be okay, but your upload, which is still very important, uh, is goes to nothing. Yeah, it really is affected. Your upload is drastically affected. TV, phone, drastically affected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the TV and see if that makes any difference. Right, just to prove that this test is completely fair, I'm going to turn off, I'm going to unplug it, the switch for it. And there we go. And completely turn this off as well. Right, completely off, totally off, totally off. Right, so we've got a crazy home movie there. Right, let's see how it's affected. Let's see if this has any effect on the Wi-Fi. Do you know something? I think it does. Or does it? No. It's just taking a wee while to warm up. Yeah, you're absolutely fine. So you're okay with TVs? Okay, we're back in the kitchen now, as you can hear. Uh, I did mention there was a solution, and this is it. Switch to five gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's as simple as that. If you can, switch to that, and you'll notice a big difference. I'm just gonna do that right now. So, Triple Whopper is my 5G. So what I'm gonna do is, another quick boring test to make sure that it's working and then I'll turn them on the microwave. So still running, gotta be honest, still running a bit slow there, but it's still significantly faster than before. It was on 60, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep the microwave going here and then we're going to try again. So we're on the 5G network now. And there we have it, it has uh, had no effect whatsoever. In fact, we're now racing. One hundred forty-six. so we'll try that again. Just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, but I don't see the point, to be honest. So it just goes to show that it's the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi which is hurting your your speeds, basically, if you're using wireless uh, appliances around about your house. So if at all possible, stick to five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Proof. 
So there you have it. I think that's conclusive proof that using your Wi-Fi does interrupt your Wi-Fi signal. But an easy fix is use 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's as simple as that. Right, before you go, uh, I want to know your experiences. I want to know uh, if you've got devices running about your house as it's mentioned in the article. I'll put the link in the description so you can watch, uh, read it yourself. Uh, if they affect your Wi-Fi and simply turning them off has had a great effect on it. Right, just before you go, I just want to show you one other thing as well. Uh, I've got a few giveaways going here. Uh, I've got four giveaways and they're for Samsung Note 10 cover giveaway. I've got five of them. I've got an S20 Plus uh, giveaway for there. I've got one for that. I've got an S20 case cover again. I've got uh, two for that and I've got an S20 Ultra. Uh, I've got two to give away for that. So I think it's 10 in total. Really easy to take part. Just click on all these links. All you have to do is put, give me an email address and your name. It's just so I can contact you if you've won. It's UK only, I'm afraid, because I can't post around the world at this time. Uh, but it's really, really easy. The easiest way to do is get 10 entries just by clicking uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, because I do a bit of gaming at night, Call of Duty and that sort of idea. Uh, but you can also follow me on Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and uh, visit me on YouTube as well. Click a few videos, it would be great. So there you go, if you liked that video, give it a massive big thumbs up and share, share the heck out of it, why not? And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these kind of videos, please do. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there, stay indoors, and stay frosty. Bye bye now. Some things never change Like the feelings I have for you Some things never change Come on Takes ages, don't it?